see, one of my favorite things about rumors is not even the speculation aspect of them, not even us just wondering what they could mean, what's going on, is it true or not? Mm -mm. One of my favorite things about rumors is when they are not only addressed, but cleared up by the individual exactly who they are about. And today on Twitter, Mr. Lamar Jackson, he took to Twitter to clear some stuff up. Now, initially, when I first saw his response to the conversation that was being had, I initially thought, oh, yeah, that's Lamar Jackson putting pressure on those Baltimore Ravens. That's him putting pressure on them. That's him taking to Twitter, knowing that, you know, plenty of people are watching his every move, his, his every post, his everything that he has to say. I said, that's Lamar Jackson showing them, hey, y'all better pay up. But then at the same time, I was like, wait a minute. This also could be, because we've seen it in the past before with Lamar Jackson, this could also be him just setting the record straight. Him just clearing stuff up. So let, let's just talk about the conversation that was being had. So somebody named Gray.FGC, he took to Twitter and he said this. So Lamar Jackson is a league MVP and he still hasn't broken the bank. Ravens, you're on the hot seat. Give that man the $250 million guaranteed before you write a check that your behind can't cash. So he was letting it be known, hey, Ravens, you need to pay Lamar Jackson 250 mil guaranteed. He wrote it that way because it was in all caps. That's why I yelled a little bit. But somebody responded to him. It was William. And he said, he, Lamar Jackson, wants more. They already offered that. So then Lamar Jackson responded to him and he said, no, they didn't. So Lamar Jackson let it be known that the Ravens did not offer him 250 mil guaranteed. So again, when I saw that, I was thinking, oh, OK, Lamar, he's, he's using that power that he has. And, and he's using the smart way to say, hey, Ravens, hey, okay, no, no, they didn't offer that. They need to come correct. They need they need to step to me with some good, some good money, some real good money. And I was like, okay, at the same time, oh, well, this is just him just clearing up the rumors, addressing the rumors, and making sure it is known that not only did they not offer a 250 mil contract, but he also didn't decline a 250 million dollar guaranteed contract. So that part, it, it could have worked either way. But then the follow up, I was like, oh, okay, well, that, that says a lot. Somebody else named Bumpers Elite. He said, as much as I love Lamar. Now, you know, I know y'all heard it before. We've heard it in questions from subscribers. We've heard it in different conversations with people. When they start off with that, it's like, oh, yeah, you already know what's coming. But anyway, he said, as much as I love Lamar, a fully guaranteed deal is just bad business. It's bad business. He also said, just because a horrible franchise, the Cleveland Browns, did horrible business giving Deshaun Watson that contract doesn't mean other teams should follow. Honestly, I'm hoping Lamar Jackson gets a 10-year, half-a-billion deal. So that's what, 10 years, 5, uh, yeah, 5 mil? What? Hold up. 500 mil. There we go. I'm tripping. Sorry, my, my, y'all know my math. Was, it was messed up. So anyway, um, Lamar Jackson responded to that, and he said, you don't love Lamar. <laughs> so he, said, so he, he, he ain't even, he wasn't in no long conversation. He wasn't around, beating around the bush. No, you don't love Lamar. Um, and, and basically what I took from that is the same thing that we've been saying. Like for the, where, where Lamar Jackson's deal has to start at, the, the QB market, it dictates who, what these guys get paid. And obviously their play as well and their importance to their team, their importance to their franchise. And so with the QB market, Kyler Murray, it's, it's, it's a mix of Kyler Murray's deal and Deshaun Watson's deal that will set up Lamar Jackson for his deal. And that is, it's a mix of those right now. So if somebody else were to get paid, and depending on if they came in higher than Kyler Murray, then it would be a mix of their deal and Deshaun Watson deal. But anyway, and with Kyler Murray's deal, it's a mix of the high, a higher average per year than Kyler Murray's, 
But with Deshaun Watson's deal, it's a mix of getting it fully guaranteed. See, a lot of people, I remember when, when the contract talks first started, so many people, they tried to get on Lamar for waiting. They called him all this and all that because he waited. And now look where he's at in this position. Ever since he was eligible for a contract extension, uh, Josh Allen, he got paid. Aaron Rodgers, he got paid. Derek Carr, he got paid. Kyler Murray, he got paid. And Deshaun Watson, he got paid. So Lamar Jackson is sitting in a really good spot right now because we know uh, whenever it happens, it's just a matter of time, but he will get paid. It, it, it's, it's bound to happen. So, so whether it's sooner, whether it's later, it, it's going to happen. We just obviously hope that it happens from the Baltimore Ravens. Now, um, so with, with those, it was like, oh, is Lamar putting pressure or he just messing around? He just talking, just cleaning stuff up. Who knows? But this next one was very interesting. Because as we know, and as we did the video on a little bit earlier, Tony Jefferson, he got released. At least for now. So Tony Jefferson, he put up a gif of the boy crying. I think the, I think the boy is from Soul Food. I think it's from the movie Soul Food. Um, but Tony Jefferson put up the gift of a boy crying. Because obviously to say, oh yeah, him getting released, it hurts. Da, da, da. Um, I, I think it's just a little joke just because he knows that he'll be back. Because da, 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 da. he ain't give one of them speeches. Oh, thank you Ravens for everything. Thanks for my time in Baltimore. He didn't give any of that. So, he'll be back. Um, but anyway, Lamar Jackson quote tweeted that with his own gift. And his gift said, listen, if you want to cry, you go ahead and cry. So, again, Tony Jefferson joking around about it. Lamar Jackson joking around about it. I think they, they both know, like, Tony Jefferson is going to be back. And worst case scenario, if he isn't, okay. It's all right to make light of something like this. Tony Jefferson, he done been released before. From the Ravens before, too. Uh, and he's been released from other teams, too. So, he knows how it goes. And he even talked about how he was close to retiring. But then the Ravens say, hey, what's up, big head? And he's like, oh, hey, yeah, hell, how y'all doing? And then, you know, the rest of the story. Um, but they, they seem to be joking around with each other. But then somebody replied to Lamar. And they said, uh, you both can come and cry in a Miami Dolphins uniform. Tears of joy when we hoist the Lombardi. And Lamar Jackson, he liked the picture. And it was a picture of Lamar Jackson in, a, <laughs> in the Dolphins jersey. <laughs> And boy, that, that sent everybody going crazy. Because I've seen a lot of fans replying to that. Oh, Lamar, you better unlike this right now. Lamar Jackson, what are you doing, man? Lamar, what's going on? Because I know <laughs> for a lot of people, that's something that's scary to think about. It's a conversation that I know most Ravens fans either they don't want to have. Of course, why, why would you want to have a conversation about not only Lamar to the Dolphins, but Lamar to any other team? Um, but it's also something that I know a lot of Ravens fans, they try to block it out. And I can understand why, because you don't even want to think, think about Lamar Jackson being on another team. Because we remember what life was like before Lamar Jackson. Because Flacco definitely, he had his days, but then toward the end of it and toward the more, toward the more recent years and stuff, yeah. yeah. Um, but then, and we've, we've seen little spurts here and there of life without Lamar Jackson on the Ravens, and it, it, it hasn't been too pretty. It's been close, but no cigar. So, a lot of Ravens fans don't even want to think that thought, that possibility of Lamar going somewhere else. But it's a conversation, not even necessarily that needs to be had, but it's something that is a possibility. It's a real possibility. It's a real possibility. Until a contract is agreed upon, it is a real possibility. Now, we, don't, we hope it doesn't happen, of course. But anything's possible until it's not possible anymore. Timing. Timing is everything, and it continues to be everything. Lamar Jackson has said, he talked about the timing for this deal, or for this possible deal. He said he wants to get a deal done by week one. Week one comes, we ain't talking anymore. No, no conversation. We're done. That's a wrap. Don't want to hear it. He said, week one comes, just focusing on football, not on contract, no more for the rest of the year. That is another reason why I feel like the franchise tag just can't happen. It, it, it cannot come to the franchise tag. Because that is such an easy way for it to get ugly. 
Now, with a franchise tag, um, it does not uh, it does not necessarily mean that the two sides can't come to an agreement. It doesn't mean that because we've seen plenty of franchise tags before where both sides end up coming to an agreement. It's like, oh, hey, okay, let's get it. But we've also seen franchise tags where it doesn't end so nicely. And a lot of times we've seen, again, both sides of the field. We've seen where, where situations between a player and the franchise that they play for, it can get ugly, but then everything gets resolved with the contract. But then we've also seen times where it can get ugly and it only gets resolved by the franchise and the player going their separate ways. Now, we obviously hope that Lamar Jackson is not and doesn't end up being the latter, but it's important that Ravens, they know what they have and they value what they have. Um, the franchise tag, and this is something that we've talked about before, the franchise tag is just essentially a more expensive prove it deal. It's a prove it deal, but just for a little more money. Usually prove it deals for players, um, they come in at a low salary, a salary that's much lower than the average of whatever the top players at whatever position are getting paid. Um, it's where teams take sort of a flyer on a player uh, and they're like, hey, all right, we're not going to give you a long term contract yet because we want you to prove it. A franchise tag is when you can't come to a contract agreement with a player and you want them to prove it. Hey, you play on a one year deal because we still haven't been able to come to a term that we feel like would be best for you. <laughs> we haven't been able to agree with you uh, and with ourselves on what you should be paid. And see, that's, uh, again, that's where things can get very, very dangerous. And we just hope that it, it doesn't get there. So we'll see how everything goes down. Uh, we'll see how uh, everything gets addressed and if it is even addressed. We'll see if Lamar Jackson ends up playing on a big contract this year or it just ends up being the fifth year option. But whatever it ends up being, we just hope the best for him. I hope that he goes out there and does what we know that he knows how to do. We know Lamar Jackson can play. We know he can ball. We know he can do his thing. But will the Ravens pay him for doing that? Hopefully they will. And Lamar Jackson will not be like what we say at the end of every single video. I'm out.